This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Ho there. It's Jeff Cutter Diving. Welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe on this day. We start a brand new month. And consequently, we're starting a brand new playlist. A couple of playlists, actually. But anyway, it doesn't matter. But anyway, it's May 1st, 1992, 31 years ago, when Los Angeles was in the grips of trouble. Now, of course, the picture you see is, if you're watching this, is the LA Coliseum and then something burning in the background. Well, that was the result of the Rodney King trial. When LA police officers beat Rodney King for almost no reason, as it were, and they called racism and all that. Unfortunately, the jury acquitted the officers and LA went nuts. A lot of the inner city people went nuts. I mean, they would beat up on not only whites, but they would beat up on Koreans and people of different ethnicities and all that. It burned. The Rodney King riots ran about a billion dollars, but this is 1992 money. By 2023, it'd probably be like three, four billion. But anyway, Rodney King did make a plea saying, can we, can we, can't we just get along? All that, despite all that, it didn't really work out. Now, the sports world was rocked by this. We all know about the real world, about the National Guard situation and Los Angeles basically being outskirts and in living color making fun of the 92 riots, which I guess was okay, but not okay in a sense. But yeah, the whole thing was a big mess. So anyway, it was huge and all that. So, the verdict, of course, with the whole thing, it was just terrible and all that. By the sixth inning of a Dodgers-Phillies game at Dodger Stadium, there was a lot of problems and all that. Because of the riots and all that, when you drive, you got to go north of the stadium, not south, because that's where the trouble was and all that. So there was huge. Anyway, um, outside the LA Forum, the Lakers and Blazers were playing the playoffs. Of course, there were a lot of problems. And the biggest problem was that, you know, the PA announcer said, do not go east on Manchester. Go west on Manchester toward the beach, north on Prairie toward Clover City. There were massive chaos and all that. 64 people died during the riots, including nine shot by police and one by the National Guard. Anyway, there were a lot of things. Over 3,600 fires were set. And for 96 hours, aka four days, things were just Terrible and all that. This is terrible and all that. The riots are four days of unrest. So, of course, it was not the best things in the world. But the sports world was affected. The Dodgers would lose four home playoff games during the riots. No, four home games, sorry. During the riots, which were rescheduled, of course, obviously. Why would you? The Lakers and Clippers would have to move their playoff games in 1992. So, just trying to get some credos on it and how big this was, especially with the Ronnie King situation. So, yeah. It was just humongous. I mean, for the Clippers, this was the first time they were in the playoffs since 1976 when they be were the Buffalo Braves, so the Clippers were happy and all that. And the Lakers, too. The Lakers were a little bit of a shell of themselves, despite being in the finals of 91. And the Clippers, well, a lot of people say they were a terrible team and all that. So, anyway. The 
playoffs playoffs happened in the West and all that. Los Angeles was actually the number eight seed at Lakers against number one Portland. They were down well, they were down two games to none. They won that game four game three in overtime to make it two one. But then they had to a couple days later move the game move game four from Great Western Forum to the Thomas and Max Center in Las Vegas. So Las Vegas hosted Portland and Lakers. Portland crushed the Lakers to win the series three games to one. But remember, this is 92 when the first rounds were best of five, not best of seven. The Clippers were number seven seed and they shocked the Jazz to win game three of their series to go up two, to trim the deficit to two one. But unfortunately, because of the whole riots, they had to move the game to the Anaheim Convention Center for 7,000 fans. It's like, a convention center? Really? You gotta go through a 7,000 seat stadium? Well, Ar the Arrowhead Pond was not created yet. So, so yeah, they went to the they went to the convention center to play a game four and shocked Utah by winning 150-107 next to Danny Manning's 33 points, 10 rebounds. But, back in Utah, the Jazz got normalcy and won the game. So, the Clippers and Lakers suffered because of the LA riots. But, you know, the LA riots were on everyone's mind. I mean, it's like the Black Lives Matter thing. Like, you know, many leagues were thinking about stuff. And Braun said a lot of stuff about that. But the 92 riots were just terrible and all that. LA kind of suffered for it. Well, the 92 Dodgers were just crap. They finished last place in the division for the first time in how many years? And, you know, the LA Kings were, I think they were, you know, the LA Kings were close to being in the 92 playoffs because I remember they were in the LA, they were in the first round against Edmonton and they got taken out in six games. But yeah, the Kings got lucky that none of their games had to be postponed because of the LA riots. Because the first few games were going to be in Edmonton. So, you know, the Kings were basically done for. But yeah. L.A. suffered and burned. It just didn't make sense. It just doesn't. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.